to make turkey leaf pumpkins, you're going to need some brown model magic. And our kit doesn't have the brown, so I'm going to mix blue, red, and yellow model magic together to make brown. I made a ball out of red, yellow, and blue, and then we're going to mix them together to make brown. had to add just a little bit more red because it looked too gray. Let's see if that helps. Mm, that looks better. When you're all finished, you're going to shape the model magic into a shape that looks like this. That's going to be the turkey's head. For the turkey's feet, you're going to shape three pieces of model magic. And then you're going to put them together. To make it look like that. And this is what the turkey feet should look like when you put the three pieces together. You're going to take a piece of yellow model magic and shape it into a triangle for the turkey's beak. Next, you're going to shape a piece of red model magic into a shape like this for the turkey's waddle. And the last step, we're going to make two round white and flat push down on them just to flatten them out a little bit. This is going to be the turkey's eyes. These are all the pieces that you're going to need. Now we're going to let them air dry overnight. And if the pieces are really big, you have to let them air dry for 72 hours. And while those are drying, you can get your pumpkin. You can have either a fake or a real, like I'm using. Now with the real one, you're going to remove the stem. And I'm going to use some acrylic paint. You can also use washable paint. And you just start painting whatever colors you, you can blend. You can mix some white in to make it a little lighter. I'm just using orange and some gold. This is what the orange looks like so far. I paint a little bit of the gold. This is what it looks like so far. I really like using the Crayola acrylics. They work good on pumpkins. You're also going to need some leaves. I'm using dried real leaves. You can use fake leaves as well. The next step, you're going to glue the leaves onto the back of the pumpkin for the feather. The next step, you're going to attach the leaves to the back of the pumpkin. I'm using Elmer's glue. You can use hot glue also if you would like. And finally, when your model magic is all dry, you're going to attach it to the pumpkin using glue. I added a little bit of black acrylic paint for the eyeballs. You could use black marker also. And here's what the finished leaf Mod Podge turkey looks like. To make a turkey sandwich, you will need to cut a slice of wheat bread into a circle, some apple slices. You can use all red or all green if you prefer or you can mix them a carrot cut into a triangle for the beak and this shape 
for the legs. And cut some apple peel in this shape for the waddle next to the beak. Put the carrot beak and the legs on. Place the apple peel waddle next to the carrot beak. Place the apple slices all around for the feathers. So it looks like this. And last, you're gonna add two candy eyes and you have your finished turkey sandwich. To make Nabisco Nutter Butter acorn treats, you will need Nabisco Nutter Butter Bite Cookies, some Hershey's Kisses, any flavor. You will also need some chocolate chips. You're going to separate the Nutter Butter Cookie Bites. The next step, you're going to attach the cookie bite halves to the Hershey's Kiss chocolates. And if you don't feel like taking the cookies apart, you can also use a whole Nutter Butter bite and add a little peanut butter or nut butter or frosting to the chocolate to hold it together. When you're finished with that step, they should look like this. Add a little bit of peanut butter or nut butter to the cookie. And the last step, you attach the chocolate chip to the cookie and that's the acorn stem. And the acorn treats are all finished. You can also use mini vanilla wafers to make the acorn treats. Attach the mini vanilla wafer to the Hershey's Kiss with a little bit of peanut butter or nut butter. Place a tiny dab of peanut butter or nut butter in the center of the cookie. And attach the chocolate chip to the cookie and you have your acorn stem. And here is the assorted acorn treats. To make orange pumpkins, you will need mandarin or tangerines, some celery, and some celery leaves. Peel the tangerine or mandarin oranges Cut the celery into pieces to look like this for the stem and some celery leaves. Put the celery piece stems and the celery leaves at the top of the tangerines. And you're all finished with your orange pumpkins.